King Charles III's restructuring plans could have big impact on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The future of the British monarchy may look very different under King Charles III, who is expected to take the throne after Queen Elizabeth II. According to royal experts, Charles has been preparing for his role as king for decades, and he has some ambitious plans to reshape the institution and its relationship with the public. One of the most controversial aspects of Charles's vision is his desire to slim down the monarchy, meaning that only a few senior members of the royal family will receive public funding and official duties. This would reduce the costs and the scandals that have plagued the monarchy in recent years and also allow Charles to focus on his own priorities and passions such as environmentalism, interfaith dialogue, and social justice. However, this plan could also have significant implications for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who stepped back as senior royals in 2020 and moved to California. The couple have since pursued their own projects and deals with Netflix, Spotify, and Apple TV+, while also speaking out about their experiences and opinions on various issues. While Harry and Meghan have insisted that they still respect and support the Queen, their relationship with Charles and the rest of the royal family has been strained by their decision and their revelations. Some of their statements have been seen as disrespectful or damaging to the monarchy, such as Harry's claim that his father and brother are trapped in the system, or Meghan's allegation that there were concerns about their son's skin color within the palace. If Charles becomes king, he may decide to cut off Harry and Meghan from the royal family completely, meaning that they would lose their titles, patronages, and any remaining privileges or connections. This would be a drastic move, but it could also be a way for Charles to assert his authority and protect his reputation as a modern and progressive monarch. Alternatively, Charles may choose to keep Harry and Meghan in the fold, but with some conditions and limitations. He may ask them to refrain from commenting on royal matters or criticizing the monarchy in public, or he may require them to seek his approval before signing any deals or taking on any roles that could affect the image of the monarchy. This would be a more conciliatory approach, but it could also create some tensions and challenges for both parties. Ultimately, the fate of Harry and Meghan under King Charles III will depend on how they navigate their relationship with him and the rest of the royal family. They may have to compromise or adapt to some of his expectations and demands, or they may have to accept the consequences of their choices and actions. Either way, they will have to face a new reality when Charles ascends the throne.